This quad can actually fly very fast also. And very maneuverable when you take off the camera. It can be real fun to fly. That camera comes off very easily. All, all you do is unplug the uh, uh, camera control cable and then angle at the door out of its slot and remove the door and the camera all both at the same time. And you can get a very maneuverable quadcopter. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here. Um, what I'd like to talk about today is uh, removing the camera from the X5C quadcopter, the SEMA X5C. Now, some of you might wonder, why would you want to remove that camera? Well, if without the weight of this camera, this quadcopter can become very agile, very maneuverable, very fast quadcopter. Um, I'll try to include a link to one of my other videos of fly, how you can fly this quadcopter without the weight of this camera. Another reason is, you might want to replace that camera with, say, an 808 keychain camera, something of better quality that will provide better quality video and also doesn't drain the uh, quadcopter's battery while it's operating. For instance, the uh, stock camera here, when it's operating in flight, if you keep it on throughout the flight, this camera will effectively half the flight time. Uh, you'll be, instead of flying seven minutes, such as you, the flight time you can get without this camera on, you'll be only getting uh, times of possibly three and a half minutes. So you might want to consider replacing it with an 808 keychain camera, which weighs approximately the same as this, but has its own built-in battery. So thus you're not draining the battery power from the quadcopter. Now, to remove this uh, uh, camera, it's very simple. First off, I recommend that you pull the uh, stand from the quadcopter on the side where the camera's uh, power cable is. That will give you better access to that cable. Also I recommend that you push the camera back to open the door just a bit. And that's also to gain better access to the plug of the, the power plug of the camera. Then using your fingernails from your, your thumb and your index finger, gently pry the plug from its slot. Very simple to do. Now, to get the door and the camera, remove the door and the camera both, angle it um, at an angle so that uh, the pin is all the way forward on one side and the opposite pin on the other side is all the way back in its slot and then just simply pull it up and out. It pops right out. To put it back you just go the same way. You angle it back in into the slot if you want to replace the camera back in there and just push down until it pops back into place. Well, let me try that on this side. This is hard to do because I can't see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to show you at the same time, so Let's see. But there, it goes back into place, so, you know, it pops in and out very easily if you angle it, as shown here. So let's pull that out again. So there, I removed the entire camera and the door from the quadcopter. Now, some of you might be wondering, what about that battery? Isn't going? Isn't it going to slide out? Well, the power plug, when it's inserted in its slot, in most cases will hold that battery in place. Um, notice that I've modified mine to, to remove the power plug externally to get better uh, connection. That's very simple to do by simply removing um, these screws and these screws on each one of the arms and you can pop it open and pull that, that uh, power plug out. Um, but another way to ensure that that battery stays in place is I made a dummy door out of a piece of cardboard cut to the same shape as the old door just on the bottom surface and on the other side of that uh, dummy door I put some some of the uh, foam packing that comes with the quadcopter and I just glued it onto that uh, cardboard surface and the way I hold this in place is through the use of rubber bands now why rubber bands? <laughs> I'm going to use these to, to hold my quadcopter, or my 808 keychain camera in place. And I'll show you how to, to put these rubber bands on here. One at a time, just slip it, just slip it over one of the arms and stretch it out 
to slip it over the other arm and do that with all three of these rubber bands. I'm using three. By the way, I'm using a rubber bands from uh, asparagus that bundles asparagus together. They're very good rubber bands. I don't recommend you throw those away if you're into asparagus, if you like asparagus. And finally, this one here, which is a little bit more beefier than the others. I like to use three mainly because it gives extra um, holding power to the camera and holds it very steady. And then arrange them until they look pretty. <laughs> okay, now with these rubber bands in place with this cardboard and that foam in between there, that battery does not want to come out of there. It's it's really snug inside there. So, But yet, this is still very lightweight. Um, you can still do maneuverable flying with this. Um, you could fly it without even the uh, landing gear skids in, attached, although I like to keep mine my skids attached with the main reason being I want to protect these gears from getting any dirt in there. And this raises it off the ground so that um, instead of standing on these uh, original um, protection uh, uh, stands, I, um, it'll be using the original uh, stand for the quadcopter, keeping these gears from going into the dirt. You don't want that to happen because that can really jam up your gears. So there we go. And to simply attach the camera, all I do is slide it under the rubber bands. Very quick, very simple to do. And I try to center it also. So that's how I attach my 808 keychain camera to my quadcopter when I want to fly with the 808. Now one thing you notice on my 808 keychain camera, this little piece of cardboard, what's that there for? Well, let's pull that out and I'll show you up close. All it is is a trapezoidal or a diamond shaped cut um, piece of cardboard tiny piece of cardboard which extends over the top of the lens and the reason it's there is I'm trying to block uh, the, the shadow of the propellers from hitting the camera lens um, to prevent propeller flicker which is a phenomena you see uh, when the Sun is low in the sky uh, if this propellers the shadow of these propellers hit the lens you'll see a flickering effect especially if you're flying toward the Sun so uh, that's what that's there for it's just a shade to mitigate propeller flicker so, that's how you remove the camera door, and also I recommend this little piece of cardboard there. It helps firm up the uh, connection to the uh, holding the battery inside the quadcopter, and that's about it. So, I hope you learned something here. Good luck trying this. It, it really does improve the flight performance of the quadcopter without the, the weight of this camera. Uh, try it out, and you'll see. Okay, Quadcopter 101, signing out.